this is a prairie dog. All kinds of animals love eating prairie dogs and their cousins, the ground squirrels. But they have a wonderful neighborhood watch system. That's why even the best hunters find them a challenge. Just ask a coyote. The coyote has no trouble sniffing out prairie dogs. It's just digging them out that's the problem. They can sneak away down one of their many escape tunnels. That's why sometimes coyotes prefer prey that are easier to catch. Something bigger, fatter, and slower, like a badger. The badger also likes catching ground squirrels. And while it can dig faster than a man with a shovel, it can't run as fast as a coyote. And that's why the badger and the coyote sometimes form an uneasy alliance. These two mortal enemies team up to combine their speed and digging abilities. Ground squirrels that run into burrows can be dug up by the badger. And if they try to escape overland, they can be chased down by the coyote. The coyote doesn't eat the badger because hunting together is 30% more successful than hunting alone. They may make an odd couple, but they're a deadly hunting combination. The only problem is that they have to take turns at eating the spoils. But there is another predator that doesn't like sharing its food. How would you like to steal a grizzly bear's dinner from right under its nose? Especially if the bear is a thousand times heavier than you are. The owners of this cat were terrified when it went up to a grizzly and started eating its food. But the bear didn't eat the cat. He befriended him. Perhaps Grizz the Grizzly's friendly response had something to do with living at Wild Images Wildlife Rehabilitation Center in Oregon. Whatever the reason, this odd couple appeared to share a genuine affection for one another. Each night, the cat would sleep curled up under the bear's chin. It was the warmest bed in the center and came complete with its own 300 kilogram teddy bear. But there's not much affection between the badger and coyote. They'd never tolerate living together. Unlike the next odd couple in the countdown. So far, we've seen rivals that like to meet and a couple that prefer it sweet. But still to come, how would you like to have one of the world's scariest creatures as a roommate? And why would anyone want to use an ant as a bodyguard? Find out next. Giant spiders are some people's worst nightmare. Why on earth would anything want to form an alliance with a tarantula? The tarantula can grow as large as a dinner plate. It uses its size and strength to hunt down prey bigger than itself. 
tarantulas will eat birds, rodents, and sometimes even venomous snakes. It uses its 12 millimeter fangs to inject paralyzing venom and powerful digestive enzymes that liquefy the snake's insides. Then it sucks up the juices. But one of the tarantula's favorite foods is frog. So spare a thought for the poor old frog that's sitting inside the tarantula's burrow right next to the spider's egg sac. But this frog isn't lunch. It's a housekeeper. The frog keeps the nest free of ants and other insects that might try to eat the spider's eggs. In return, the frog gets to stay out of the drying heat and live in one of the safest houses in the district, protected by its very own eight-legged bodyguard. A frog living in a tarantula's home might sound crazy, but some animals can fit in anywhere. Meet Misha and her housemates, Jack and Mark Tressel from Ohio. And she When we got her, she was five months old. She had pneumonia. Her hooves were cracked. She had two big gashes in the top of her head, and I didn't know how to heal her, so we brought her into the wood stove. And she stood there, and she got better, and then she never wanted to leave. And no matter how hard we tried, she was always back at the door. And so we knew she wanted to stay in forever. If you're going to have a meal, she's going to be there. She's going to want to have some with you. You're going to have to share with her what I have here. But I'll bet you she'd like the last of mine. I'll give her mine. How's that sound? OK. Well, the thing is that she'll live to be 40 or 50 years old, and she'll never want to go away and get married. She'll never want to go to college. She'll never want her own apartment. She'll always be happy just to be with us. So for 40 or 50 years, you know, I mean, who can say that about a child? Because they have to grow up and go away, right? Oh, honey, let's have a love fest. OK. One, two, three. Woo! That's a love fest! But it's no love fest in the spider's burrow. When you're living with a tarantula, it pays to take precautions. That's why the frog's skin contains toxic chemicals, just in case the spider tries a little love bite. Our next contender has no such protection against a dangerous predator, so instead, it uses bribery. <laughs> 